Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Wednesday, February 19th, 2020. And as you get up and you start this brand new day, Thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage somebody. And while you're at it today, give God praise. Because He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Ephesians, chapter number 1. And it's verses 18 and 19. Scripture says, The eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward usward, who believe according to the working of his mighty power. We're doing a series this week titled Open My Eyes, and we looked in the book of Psalm, chapter 119, back on Monday, and we discovered one of the things that God needs to open our eyes to is the wondrous things in his loss so that we could see the words of God and we can understand them and therefore we can apply them to our lives. And the second thing we looked at in, in opening our eyes was here in Ephesians yesterday. The first part of verse number 18, that we know what is the hope of his calling. We have the understanding that we need a Savior, and we understand that Jesus is that Savior. And and then because of that understanding, we can know what the will of God is for our lives. And today we're looking at the second thing here in Ephesians chapter number number one, which is part three of our series today. Another thing we need to have our eyes open to is is the inheritance that we have. Here in the rest of verse number 18, he says, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. We need to understand the riches that we have. I'm not talking about riches as far as, as money is concerned. But I'm talking about riches that far exceed that. And and I'm talking about the riches that if we need understanding about something and we pray we could take some of the riches of God and get that understanding. If we need help, if we need healing, if we need whatever, whatever we need, God has it for us. He has it ready for us. Another part of our inheritance is the fact that we are the children of God. We are the, the bride of Christ. We are we are the ones that God is going to bless. And God is going to gonna make sure that we're taken care of. In, in Matthew chapter 6, there's that big section in Matthew chapter 6 that Jesus is telling his disciples and teaching us that we shouldn't worry. And in that, he says, the birds of the air doesn't sow or doesn't harvest you know, does its harvest from a field, but our Heavenly Father cares for them and He feeds them and He meets their needs. Then He says, aren't you worth more than a bird? But then at the end of that verse, and you could go back to Matthew chapter 6 and look at that, at the end of that verse He says, but seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. That's what we need to do when we're going to be seeking the riches of God. We need to seek first his kingdom because that's where our riches are. And if we're seeking first the kingdom of God, which in other words means that we're seeking first the will of God and the leading of God, and then we follow that will and we follow that leading, then everything that we need to live the life that God has called us to live is right there at our disposal and he's going to give us that. So we have to understand that we're never ever going to deplete the riches of God, the riches that is our inheritance. So friends, get in there, put the kingdom of God first, and seek his will, and then follow that. And then dive into the riches of God to meet the needs that you have to live the life that God wants you to live. Think about that as you go through this day, and remember, get into God's word. And allow God's word to get into you and then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Yeah.